Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Aretha Franklin's awesome tribute to Carole King. This is at the Kennedy Center Honors 2015. Let's see what happens. <laughs> She looks phenomenal. Oh, that's um Arista Records. Quad Davis. Davis. Looking out oh. on the morning rain. I used to feel so inspired. Stop. Is he crying? Is Obama crying? Okay, where do we begin? Um, Carol King, I'm just gonna go on the limb and, and, and assume that's her with the blonde hair because she's got the uh, the ribboned, uh, what do you call that? Like, award? What is that called? Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm drawing a blank and it's gonna bother me now because it's like you get them in every sport. Anyway. That's she looks fantastic. Like that's wild. She looks so young. Good, good girl. I told y'all she's she's a peaceful. You could just tell she she minds her business, and that's how you stay young. You mind your business. You're kind to others, and you just love on people. You're gonna stay young forever. Then you got Miss Aretha Franklin coming out here in a floor dragging fur, and a what looks like Swarovski crystal clutch. And it looked like Carol didn't expect her to sit down and play on this here piano, but she did. Maybe Carol thought she was just going to come out and say a few words, but no, she sat down and she started singing, you make me feel like a natural woman, which I do know that Carol wrote. You guys have let me know that in the comments, which just lends to her unbelievable talent as a songwriter and her graciousness to like give a good song away. I would have been like, mm, girl, this one's too good. Anywho. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by just the greatness of all of this. She can't breathe, me either. Rosie I can't think of her last name um you know you're a legend when your background vocals are facing you and not the audience <laughs> they are all in a single file line swaying from side to side and facing uh, Aretha I will just continue to harp on how I think this woman Carol King is just a good human like her humility in this moment it's like you wrote this song and she's fangirling over Aretha and it's like but no we're all fangirling over you again just speaks to her character and how good of a person I just know she is I know it I you can just tell she seems like a joy to be around Aretha sounds fantastic by the way She's about to combust. I don't mean to keep pausing on the Obamas. That's just how it's happening. The Carol is about to like burst. Look at her. She's so cute. She's like, I feel you. Um, this song for me personally, I've known this song, I feel like all my life, 
but I never, honest to God, have listened to the lyrics. I've never really paid attention. I know the chorus. I know some of the words in and out of the, the verses. But now having the insight that I have on Carol as a writer and knowing like she wrote this song for Aretha, it just gives me like fresh eyes and, 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 and new ears to hear it. This song is so spectacularly written. This, this song is probably one of the best written songs ever. I, I feel like I can say that confidently. Like the lyrics of this song are out of this. I'm listening very intently because I'm like, holy cow. And the fact that this lady is fangirling as if she didn't write this song herself is beautiful. She sounds so good. Rest in peace. Oh, he sat down and took the piano. I know that's right. Come on, Aretha. Come on, Aretha. My heart. Come on out that coat, Miss Franklin. Go, 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 go. Come on out the coat. Cut, take the fur off. It's it's getting hot. Um, this I feel emotional. I feel I feel like my heart is pounding watching this. There's an energy here that. I say this often, unfortunately, we don't get any more from the new wave of artists. Like there's just this passion, this energy, this realness, this rawness. It's just something that like, unfortunately, is passing away with the greats. And rest in peace to this woman because in 2015, which to me feels like yesterday, and to think about the fact that it was almost two, 10 years ago is frightening. Um, but to think she sounded, th she sounds phenomenal. She sounds amazing. She looks great. I always um, say this fun fact. My grandmother looks a lot like Aretha Franklin. Like they literally could be sisters. They have such similar facial features. Um, so I think I also have that kind of emotional attachment. It's like she makes me feel, you make me feel like my grandmother's child. <laughs> Like that. That's how she makes me feel. Um, I have a sense of pride watching this. Like it just all feels so good. And then to see Carol again, just receiving this honor in the most humble way is just it. It makes me want to be a better human. It makes me want to be more humble in my everyday walk. Um, I this is I'm obsessed with this. This is making me feel so warm and fuzzy. And like I feel like a a little kid about to explode. <laughs> it's so good. She dropped that mink on the floor, honey. She dropped, that's right. Stand up for Aretha Franklin and the mink. Come on, come on, come on, Aretha. almost grabbed uh michelle obama she's like i can't oh dang my old davis y'all i like i have to, i'm tearing up i have tears in my eyes this is like just so beautiful it's just a beautiful moment and to think like carol wrote what is aretha franklin's biggest hit and aretha's there honoring her and really it feels like they're having a moment like she's singing it to her and, and carol's praising her it's beautiful this is what human mankind should be like all the time like i just feel so happy right now <laughs> Am I, I don't know, maybe I'm like overdoing it, but that's how I feel. Look, she almost grabbed Michelle Obama. <laughs> Take him to church, Aretha. Take him to church, Aretha. Take him to church, Aretha. 
Like, I feel like everyone felt the energy. Even her background singer, like the one lady, like I feel like everyone could feel this energy. To be in that room, I probably would have passed out because I can feel it nine years later from a computer screen. I can feel it. Do y'all feel that? I'm like, round up! What a class act, both of them. And let me tell you something, Aretha Franklin is a woman who never needed her flowers. I think this woman knew she was fantastic. That's why she ended the performance with her arms up and she's like, thank you. I know I'm great. <laughs> uh, it just, I don't know why that just made me so emotional, y'all, but I'm emotional. Holy cow. Wow, why did that make me emotional? <laughs> Okay, this just made my heart grow fonder for Carol. It made my um, love for Aretha grow more. Thank you for this one, guys. I, I don't know what else to say. I am, I'm honored to be here. <laughs> just honored to have seen that. All right, I love you guys. Go and have the day you deserve. Bye.